What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're going to quickly discuss about cool booter and dual booting iOS on your device. And uh, you probably remember that I made a video back in December on how to dual boot any iPhone 4 or iPhone 5 4S or 5C with two operating systems at the same time. For example, you can have iOS 7.1.2 and iOS 6.0.1 at the same time and switch between them directly from the application right here. If you want to know how to do that and if you want to learn how to install these uh, on your device, if you're jailbroken, you can follow up this video I am having in here. The link is going to be in the description down below, but in today's video we're going to discuss about an update. Now, the main caveat of this um, uh, of this method of cool booter when it came out was the fact that in order to be able to, for example, uh, install iOS 6 on an iOS 7.1.2 device, or for example you're on uh, an iPhone 5 and you have iOS 9 and you downgraded to iOS 6 as well, you needed to first boot into the iOS 9 or the main operating system and then open the application, this is the application, and click boot and then it will boot to the secondary operating system being the downgraded one. But that took time and sometimes gave errors. But using the, uh, the update that was released a couple of days ago on, uh, well, a couple of weeks actually, on uh, March the 9th, now you can do, you can do the, uh, the secondary operating system as a main one. So it says in here, quote, available now via, uh, via Cydia, Cool Booter CLI includes support for um, iOS 6.0 to 7.1.2 on the same devices as before, but iOS 6 as main OS is supported. So this means that you no longer need to boot into iOS 7 first and then to boot into the iOS 6. You can directly boot into the preferred um, iOS version without fiddling with any other things. So this is particularly good for those of you who want to simply downgrade and the, the, um, the actual dual boot and the actual downgrade using cool booter tool is untethered so you do not need to boot with the computer and this is one of the best things. Now um, they also have a website in here of course cool booter is actually free so uh, it's pretty easy to acquire and in this video I also shown you how to install it and how to configure it in order to, to downgrade and um, yeah, they also have this website in here on which you can get a uh, part of the um, the source code and a lot of information about the uh, the currently supported devices. So it says it's currently supporting devices jailbroken on iOS um, 6, probably iOS whatever to iOS 6, and those devices being iPhone 4, 5, iPad 2, iPad 3, and iPad 4. Now, um, for those of you who are asking about the 64-bit uh, version, for example, for iPhone 5s and iPhone um, 6, this is not going to happen according to the um, to the original Twitter account in here, because of course it uses part of the uh, Windows CM's work. Uh, being particularly, if you go in here, you can see uh, it says that is made possible by Windows CM, a roadsmith, and so on, and it's actually impossible to to adapt the the tools used in uh, Coolbooter to work with 64-bit devices for the moment, and particularly KLoader application, which is for 32-bit. But I'm going to keep you updated, and you can also follow up this account in here called Coolbooter. Uh, in order to get updates on the application. So this is actually it guys. I really hope this update will uh, will help you. Again, to recap, you can now use any operating system you want to downgrade to as the main operating system, which is very, very great. If you don't want to be on iOS 7.1.2 on your iPhone 4, you can use iOS 6 untethered and so on and so forth. So this is it. Till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.